Hey baddies, welcome back to the channel. So today it's time for the long awaited 100 envelope challenge unstuffing. Please forgive the lighting in here today. It's gloomy, it's early in the day. There typically be some sunlight, but there isn't. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it right after this intro. So as you know, here in my baddie challenge trackers, I have managed to go through and complete so many challenges, not just one, but two times for some even. And this is also one of the times I've been able to complete two. So you guys watch me stuff and unstuff it the first go round. We ended in 830 of 2021. We started this one 911 of 2021 and I finished the other day i'm not exactly sure i think it was like 12 12 2 of 2021 and so we'll see what our total is this time last time our total was five thousand one hundred and three dollars i believe so let's see if we can beat that this time okay so just a little housekeeping i had i kind of rearranged my desk so everything could fit here so i had someone reach out and ask me <laughs> I guess they thought I was lying about um, stuffing this twice. So I just wanted to show you guys that <clears throat> here is the money from the first time I did the 100 envelope challenge. I promise you I, I stuff real money. So here's the $5,000 from the first go round. And it's actually just been in my safe because this money is going to go towards taxes along with, <laughs> with this money. So I've just been kind of waiting to do it. So I promise y'all this is real money it's real money i've saved i would not do that that's weird so here's my envelope for today's money so once we're finished it will go there so let's go ahead and get into it i wasn't exactly sure how i wanted to do this so i brought in both of my cash trays to help me organize the money after i unstuff it so let's just go ahead and start pulling the money out and i will organize it how i can okay so how's everyone's year going? Are you guys planning for the new year? Um, I'm definitely, I'm not the best at like <laughs> the planning out part of budgeting. Um, it can be, y'all this is going to take forever trying to straighten out these bills. I think I'm just going to pull it all out and then organize it. Yeah, I, there's, I watch people on Instagram and I'm like, oh my God, everybody's so organized. Everybody's got it together. <laughs> got it together. And then there's me struggle busting. <sighs> it's a journey. It is a journey. I really wanted to create. Let's talk about like staying in your own lane, right? So as a creator, I've looked at bigger brands, um, you know, like the Budget Mom and Dave Ramsey, people who were able to scale this kind of business. And I noticed that everybody has some type of like planner or money tracker. And so since about June of this year, I have been spending money with different graphic designers, um, <laughs> different companies trying to create a, cause you guys know I have like my digital budget planner, but it's just a few sheets. So I was trying to create one um you know that you could use all year and it has just been a struggle like from the pricing to finding a graphic designer that could bring my vision to you know to like i didn't want it to be like super professional because i feel like we're all about the cute things the baddie things over here like everything i create i put a lot of time and effort into making it look pretty and so i've probably spent three or four grand trying to find somebody that I liked and I couldn't and I had to sit down with myself <laughs> and because whenever things don't work for me I always sit back and think like okay um is this really what you're meant to be doing are you just trying to keep up with the Joneses or is this something that you really want to do and so I kind of had to sit down and I was like you know what this isn't fun. This isn't fun for me. This is stressful. So I, you know, just chalked it up as a loss and I started working on a savings challenge book because, you know, that's kind of what I'm known for um, is my savings challenges. You know? So 
I instead invested that time and money into myself and created a really dope savings challenge book. So I'm hoping to be able to release that um, by the end of the year. And I just share that to say that sometimes because you see things working successfully for others, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's your calling, that's your journey. And so I'm going to stick to my guns this year on the savings challenges. I am going to try to update um, my current uh, budget, like budget system to better fit what I actually do every month. I tried to make something that, you know, was more well-rounded for budgeters, but I feel like if I'm not using it every month, you probably won't use some of those sheets either. So I'm going to scale it back a little bit and give more copies of certain pages because there's certain stuff in there that I don't, I haven't used in months. So those are the kinds of things I'm doing, like going through and purging and weeding out products that don't sell, doubling up on inventory for products that do sell. That's all part of having a business. I'm also um, finishing out, you know, end of the year things to prepare myself for taxes. That's why I know for sure that this money is going towards my business. Um, I've made a substantial amount of money this year and I still think I have underprepared myself for tax season. I'm not going to be one of those business <laughs> owners that writes off everything and gets my income down to zero because as you all know, um, well, I don't know if you know, but if you do own a business and you use a ton of write-offs, what that makes it look like to um, lenders and banks is that you didn't make any money. So you can't get home loans and all that stuff. And as you guys know, I am wanting to purchase a home. So I will be paying taxes, <laughs> you know, so I'm so grateful that I chose to do this because having this and the other money should be at least $10,000 and that will really help my tax bill. I know y'all think I'd be making a ton of money, but I don't. <laughs> I mean, you make, I'm, I'm not gonna act like I'm broke, but I'm not rich by any means. Um, I'm a new business owner and the expenses that come with marketing and running <laughs> a business are insane. Once you really start trying to scale and grow, besides it just being a side hustle, it's insane it's insane like isn't this so much money i wish the lighting was better it is complete crap but that's okay i can edit it in post so that's what we've got so far there's all the oops sorry i'm shaking shaking the camera there's all the envelopes we have so far so we are making our way through this Okay, y'all, I've got everything unstuffed. And so, let me put my envelopes back. Somebody told me I should give away my 100 envelopes because they have good luck. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I love these, y'all. I want to be able to do this challenge again, too. I don't know. Maybe I will. It's not like I can't make me another set, but. Okay. Okay, so here is all the money. Isn't this insane? This is just crazy. So I'm going to try to figure out a way to <laughs> organize this. I'm probably going to time lapse it and then we will come back and count it, okay? Time's 
been moving slowly So we already in too deep Can't get no sleep On each other heavy Teasing all day And when the sun sets You asking me to come through Kick it with you Night turn to morning dew change your guesses whatever you think because i'm getting ready to count it i feel like it's way more money than last time because i feel like last time we had way more fives and ones versus this time having more 50s and 20s so are y'all ready let's calculate this thing so i actually put the twos and ones in the same spot so um Put that there so i'll just count it all together can y'all see the calculator let me pull in some okay so oh there's five in here let me make sure that's a whole 20 dollar bill in here okay all righty so we're going to start with the ones this time, uh, the twos and the ones. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So we have $39 in ones. Okay, and fives, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110, 115, 120, 125, 130, 135, 140. So we have $140 in fives. It bothers me when they're the wrong side, y'all. Sorry if I keep flipping. Um, let me move these over here. Okay, so our total so far is one seventy nine. We're now on to the tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300. And 10. So $310 in tens. And tens. We are now at $489. Now for the 20s, I'm not doing all these at once, split it. Alrighty, so 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000. So we'll move that over. And we're going to add 1,000. Okay. 
the rest of our 20s here. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 40, 60, 85. 20, 40, 60, 86. 20, 40, 60, 87. So there's 700 more dollars. So we're at 2,000, one, sorry if it's shaking y'all, $2,189 so far. We still have our 50s and our 100s. So let's count the 50s up. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 50, 1,000. Okay, so we'll add a thousand there. Three thousand one hundred and eighty-nine. Fifty, one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, seven fifty. So we'll add seven hundred and fifty more to that. So three thousand nine hundred and thirty-nine. And last but not least, our hundreds. One hundred, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand, and one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred. So this time we were able to save five thousand four hundred and thirty nine dollars, y'all. Like, what? That's crazy. So five thousand four hundred and thirty nine dollars last time we had five thousand one hundred and eight so we were able to add two three four almost four hundred more dollars with just moving up the 90s to hundred dollar bills and adding a few extra dollars here and there so we were able to save almost fifty five hundred dollars with this savings challenge and this was in 100 days i started on 9 11 and i finished on 12 2 Okay, that's insane. So that means in total, in 100 envelope challenges, I think it was 5103, I saved $10,542. So since, when did I do the other one? Anybody remember I started the other one? I'd have started that in July. So since July, I've been able to save $10,000, $10,500 in just these two challenges. Like that is, that's insane. That's sickening. Like if you would have told me a year ago that I would have $10,000 in my hands right now, like I tell you to fight me in the street. Like I can't believe it. This is insane. That's crazy. I need to do something for a thumbnail. But anyway, y'all, so that's it i'm gonna go ahead and add this to my second hundred envelope challenge envelope and now this money can go to the bank to my tax account um and that will get me to a num number that i'm comfortable with sitting there until time to pay taxes but without this i wouldn't be able to have that comfort without this challenge and I know you may not be able to do it in 100 days I do a lot of hustling so you know I get it so here's ten thousand dollars in my hands like that's crazy but you can definitely do it over the course of a year and like if I just had a normal everyday budget and not a business I would definitely five grand is a lot of money y'all and this is doable it's very doable pick one a week like at most once you do the hundreds and the nineties, the rest of it really doesn't feel so tough. Like we spend this amount of money on Amazon. We spend this amount of money on DoorDash meals, like invest in yourself. You are so worth it. You deserve to be financially free. We all do. You know, sometimes it just takes a little bit of sacrifice. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, one of, oh, oh, let me just close this out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye. Something to buy, to put a button, yeah.
Sunlight that always stays Dinner by the 